Lisa Conrad. I'm a German florist master. Um, yeah, I like to. Yeah, what can I say? I'm a teacher also, a flower teacher, and uh, I really like this job uh, because um, it's a pleasure for me to introduce and to, to teach uh, a lot of uh, colleagues. Uh, the so, how long? How long is your customer? Um, I start my education in. Uh, 1980, <laughs> it's a long time ago, and uh, then of course there's a normal floor spray in, in, in Germany. We have a touristic system, so it means we have to work in a flower shop and I have to go to school. Mm -hmm. And in 1991 I made my first master examination, mm -hmm. and since that time I'm teaching. Okay. So, do you have any uh, family or parents with the uh, No, no. My, I, I'm based in a in a farmer house. So my my parents were farmers, and uh, of course we are. I'm a lot of uh, experience in, in, in nature because when I was a child, I was always uh, going out every day. So. Uh, okay, I see. So, how about this day? How about this day? How do you do? The most of the time I'm, I'm teaching, but I'm also working in a flower shop. For me it's really important to see um, how many problems uh, the colleagues have in, in the flower shops. And so I want to give all my experience to, um, to, to my students so they can learn about, okay, this is a way in the flower shop, but also they have to learn the technique and rules and something what uh, does it mean to be a florist. Uh, okay. Uh, except flower, what do you do the normal day? All normal day. days, the whole day is fully packed with, with uh, flower working. But when I have some space, um, yeah, I'm, I really like to, to go to swim. I'm, uh, uh, in the early time, I was only, <laughs> I was also a, a swim teacher. Swim teacher. I, I teach some some little little Ooh. children. Uh, that is. The reason I bet which shape you are. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, you. so do you have any person to respect the artist or floor artist? Yeah, of course. My, my main teacher was Peter Asman and uh, he... Um, I, I'm following him my, my, totally, my, my, um, my whole way. And uh, um, he is an absolutely uh, perfect teacher for me. He, I learned everything from him. How is the way to go uh, further in, in my education and also how can I teach um, the, the colleagues? Um, yeah, and um, yeah, how, how much I have more. I'm, I'm, I'm not totally, um, I can say it, it's uh, this or this. For me, it's uh, artist and, and paintings and something like this. It comes together. Uh, okay, I see. So, what is your the strong part as a teacher? This is the Petra Kunda, yeah. different from others. What is that? What is the strong part? It's a difficult, a difficult yeah. question for me. Um, sometimes, sometimes uh, my colleagues said, you are so straight in, in that what you are doing. And uh, for me, it's, it's normal because I, I need a, a, a schedule. I need uh, also a schedule in my life. And uh, that makes me more comfortable. Uh, okay. And then, what is your the favorite flowers? I haven't any favorite flowers. It, it depends on, uh, I think, uh, uh, springtime or summertime or autumn or winter time. I really like um, papana, of course, and I really, really like uh, ginkgo biloba. That's for me. I, I think ginkgo biloba is for me a really like, important plant and a leaf. Later, write down the, the exact name. Yes, of course. Yeah, and what is your favorite color? Favorite colors? I don't have any favorite colors. I'm, I'm, sometimes I, I'm thinking about um, color combination, and when I see it, I find it oh, it's beautiful. So I, I don't have an, a special uh, favorite color. Yeah, that limited like, of the color. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what is your very happy moment with flowers? The happiest moment uh, during my flower working is to work with students. When I see, uh, when they start with nothing, they came to me and uh, they, they have big eyes and uh, they expect a lot. And when I see when we finish with our education and with the examination and see we're satisfied in their eyes, it's the happiest moment for me. Wow, very 
just stood like that. So, what is the flower design or flower art? What is that? It changed. It changed a lot uh, since my experience more than 30 years in, in that um, development. It's, um, how can I say it? It's, it's a hard work. Yeah? Most of the time it's hard work. 80% uh, the floors has to work really, really hard. But 20% when they finish their work and they see uh, all these things, uh, that is, is so satisfied. And then you have to produce to your, to your customer. You have to show it. So I think um, it's much difficult. In Asia, it's, uh, it's difficult to you. Because uh, you have more respect for the flowers and more... Um, for you, it's, it's, it's really important to give the flowers. It's not just to give it as a present, it's a, it's a feeling. And in Germany, we lose a little bit this feeling, and it's really, satis really um, strange and really uh, pity for me to see it. So, and then, uh, please advise to young floral artists or young florists, advice. Oh, how can I say it? What can I say? Um, for example, I have two students um, in my booth now. Uh, she asked me to come just for free. She asked you heard the IPM is coming and um, can we do something for you? And um, they say, of course, you can come. And after these two days or three days, one of the students came to me and said to me, I didn't expect what, what, uh, what's going on here and I'm so happy I can hear and I have so so many ideas uh, what can I do in the future and uh, I think that's really important for the young students. Go out, go to international competition, go to, to fairs and talk with international designers so you can, um, you can go further and further in this wonderful passion job that we have. Ah, okay, I see. And then? What is the hard time, most hard time in your life with flowers? <laughs> most hard, hardest time in my life with flowers. Um, for me, it's not a hard time yeah, working with flowers. Yeah, but, yeah, but, um, but of course, for example, when I give you a cycle, we have six weeks before Christmas. That is a really, really hard time to work because uh, we have to finish more than, I think, more than 50% of uh, what the, what the um, shop owner has to, to, to get in this year. So more than 12 or 30 or 14 days, uh, 14 uh, hours we have to, to work uh, after a time, time frame from six weeks. So yeah. it's a really, really hard time. And when it's finished and Christmas, then I have a short moment as I so I don't want to see any flowers anymore for, for the next two days. So that is hard. But to work with flowers and to work with students is never hard for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I see. Only I think that when we work, yeah. only the people and person is very hard for us. Mm -hmm. The flower is okay. Yes. I think. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then please uh, give me your opinion about the competition. Because normal florist or normal flower shop owner doesn't like the competition. They don't want to know the competition. But competition, somebody is very important because the competitor is they focus on, they show their new skills and new material introduced. And a few years later, the many people follow. So, the, please the advise about the competition. What is the competition? Is good. For me, the competition is it's really good and it's absolutely necessary also for, your, for our young students because what I said in some questions before mm -hmm. um, to share their knowledges and to share uh, everything with international colleagues open your mind yeah not just focus your learning and your skills yeah, yeah. what you are learning in your country, your country yeah. you see so many new techniques you see so many new designs and uh, from the basic what you learned then you can grow up and you can make yourself as a as a print mark So it's, it's really important to go in the competition. Yeah. And then this is the last this is my last question. Please give us the 10th anniversary congratulations for the Leaf magazine. Yeah. Yeah, Leaf magazine. Um, I follow Leaf magazine since ten years when you start and I really really like this magazine because you are um, 
so important for every for everyone because uh, you travel a lot and you see all these new things to bring it inside and give a lot of information to all the, um, the colleagues I know and uh, also for me and so many many congratulations to you and I hope you do it a long time. You're welcome.